President Donald Trump has taken pains to hide details of his communications with Russian President Vladimir Putin from his own administration even going so far as to take notes from his interpreter and order the linguist to stay silent, the Washington Post reported on Saturday. The Post, citing Kearns and former U.S. officials, said Trump took the interpreter's notes after a 2017 meeting with Putin in Hamburg which then-Secretary of State Rex Tillerson also attended. The officials said they found out about the apparent concealment when a White House advisor and a State Department official tried to get information from the interpreter beyond a separate readout provided by Tillerson. A White House spokesman told the Post on condition of anonymity that Tillerson's readout of the Hamburg meeting was fulsome and delivered to U.S. officials immediately afterward and a readout was given the to the press. The added that Trump has tried to improve the relationship with Russia and imposed significant new sanctions in response to Russian malign activities. The White House did not immediately respond to insiders' request for comment. Tillerson told the Post in an email that he was present for the entirety of the two presidents' official bilateral meeting in Hamburg, but declined to comment on the meeting and whether Trump had taken the interpreter's notes. Tillerson has previously discussed the Hamburg meeting, telling reporters at a news conference that Trump pressed Putin on allegations that Russia meddled in the 2016 U.S. presidential election which Putin but denied Tillerson had declined during the news conference to say whether Trump had accepted or rejected Putin's denial. Trump administration officials said the only detail the interpreter would give them was that Trump responded by telling Putin, I believe you. It's unclear whether Trump has taken interpreter's notes on more than one occasion, but several officials told the Post they never received the reliable readout from Trump and Putin's meeting in Helsinki in July 2018 which no cabinet officials or Trump aides attended. U.S. officials told The Post that no detailed records exist even classified ones of Trump's face-to-face -face conversations with Putin in five occasions over the last two years.